Yes, all right. Uh, Pantel's podcast. We're late this week, Poseidon, because I was in Texas, so we didn't get to record uh, our regular episode due out Monday, which was yesterday. But it's actually good that we didn't because we already have some breaking news that we'll get into in a second. But for those of you who are in Montreal, every Friday night on Crescent Street, there is the Montreal Secret Show at 11 p.m. at the Third Floor Comedy Club. That's the third floor of Stogie's Cigar Lounge. We have a lot of surprises. Always big guests. And so far, Poseidon, you didn't make it last week, but it has been one amazing show after another. Crazy shit is being told. Uh, a lot of crimes. A lot of people talk about their crimes because it's, it's the secret show, so we're not <laughs> recording it. So a lot of people talk about crimes they committed uh, that they can't talk about on stage regularly. That's fun. So it's, yeah, it's a very fun show. Also, I just announced uh, more dates added around Quebec in French. I'm doing my hour in French and more shows, uh, Drummondville, Jonquière, Quebec City, Terrebonne. They've all been announced, so that's uh, penthousecomedy.com. I also have a link tree up. Two drink minimum. New episode will come out Thursday this week because we're recording Wednesday. That's the case, right, Poseidon? Yeah. We're recording tomorrow night, so new episode, two drink minimum, is going to come out uh, on Thursday this week, so a day late, but it's going to be a good one. Chris is back from his um, travels. And he I met an he, American hero. He met Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want to hear the story of him and Kyle Rittenhouse, see what happened there. Uh, is there anything I'm forgetting, Poseidon? Patreon.com slash Pantel. Sign yes. up. Anything I'm forgetting? Uh, subscribe to my YouTube. I'm trying to get a 500 subscribers so I can start getting paid, boy. <laughs> All right. Subscribe to Poseidon's YouTube, which is the Poseidon 69 on YouTube. Yes, correct? absolutely. Okay. So we had stories ready. I want to talk about Javier Millet. We're going to talk about a lot of stuff that happened. But first, breaking news, Poseidon. Yes. Can you bring up uh, the National Post? This just happened. Oh, ha, ha. This just, just happened. This one. Breaking news. Court rules liberals' use of Emergencies Act was unjustified and unreasonable. So, because I remember I was getting uh, a lot of trouble when we were watching it live. It was during COVID. We were in Studio B. Remember when they were voting? All the representatives, they went there. We, uh, we even saw people from Montreal, elected officials that were liberal. They were going to vote for this. Do you remember? And I said, you guys are disgusting. This is against democracy. Yeah, All these people uh, need to be kicked out because they were voted in democratically, but they're voting against our freedom. Exiled. And a lot of people didn't understand what I was saying, uh, how it broke the rules. And right now the court rules that the use of the Emergencies Act was in fact unjustified and unreasonable. It also went against Canada's Charter of Rights and Freedoms, which many of you agreed with because you're morons and don't understand what a slippery slope it is to just give away your rights willy-nilly. So, Poseidon, I don't know if you want to read a bit. <clears throat> Breaking! Court rules liberals' use of Emergencies Act was unjustified, unreasonable. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau invoked the act in the wake of trucker convoy protests in downtown Ottawa in February 2022. Uh, the, uh, the liberal government's decision to invoke the Emergencies Act in response to the 2022 Freedom Convoy protests was unreasonable, unjustified, and violated the charter uh, the federal court has ruled. Yep. In a lengthy ruling published uh, Tuesday, Federal Court Justice uh, Richard Mosley found that though the Freedom He's mostly in court, this guy. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, that though the Freedom Convoy protests in early 2022 were causing harm to Canada's economy, trade, and commerce, they did not rise to the level of a threat to national security as defined by the law. Hey! You're telling me that all those truckers in bouncy castles... <laughs> Hugging each other, singing, and having barbecues was not a violent threat to our national security. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, you want me to continue? Uh, no, I think we got enough. Trudeau <laughs> is in Montreal today. No by way. coincidence, yeah. I invited him to the studio, but obviously he's not going to come because uh, he's taking softball questions <laughs> from the media. He's taking uh, the good shit. questions of, yo, how do you feel, dog? And he's like, that? I got to tell you, this this Ukraine thing is, is bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this guy. Did you so, get your period yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, can you bring that up? That We didn't talk about that, and it's a little it's a little crazy. So I thought what they were doing was they wanted to make sure that any government building has tampon dispensers in the women's bathroom paid for by the government, which, to be honest, I don't mind. I think that's cool. We'll pay for it. 
But that's not what's happening. The free tampons and menstrual pads are now required in Canadian government-controlled men's restrooms. That's wild. That's wild, bro. Okay, so if... If I'm understanding correctly, according to Justin Trudeau, a protest is a threat to national security. That makes sense. And men have periods through their penis, which they're going to shove tampons through. This is the reality that we live in. Like that, both those things make fucking sense. It's because, uh, you know, all the liberal party members have uh, rectal bleeding. It doesn't make any sense, extra bro. Extracurricular activities. It doesn't make any sense that they're, they're forcing this kind of shit. Why don't you just put it in the women's bathroom where they're going to use it? Like, this is, they're not going to use this. No woman's going to be like, I'm going to the dude's bathroom to get it. They don't want to be in there. This is what this guy's preoccupying himself with. And including men's. That's ridiculous. This that's is, crazy. Yeah. I'm cool with it in the women's bathroom. I don't mind paying for that. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know. I don't give a shit. But I don't like this game that he's fucking playing. This fucking game. Look at that. Students students march against university removing tampons. So, bro, students no got way. upset that they removed them from the men's bathroom and they're like, we're going to march. No way. Bro, I mean, tell me this generation is a bunch of pu- pussies. Well, they require tampons. They're a bunch of pussies, bro. God damn, bro. Man, I don't know how you, you know, you know how like you're embarrassed about certain things in life that yep. you do. You're like, ah, you look back. You're like, I shouldn't have done that. Or I behaved. That's going to be them when they Dude, grow up. They're going to look back at this and they're going to be like, I can't, I, we cannot believe what we were like. They're going to be so, they might die from embarrassment. Imagine their kids in the future, their grandkids. So it was the rise of AI and all this technology. <laughs> and what were you doing? And the guy's like, I, I was protesting. The I, I wanted tampons. <laughs> Like, for yourself? Yeah, I wanted it to be available. Man, this is crazy. Past generations were going to war and shit, bro. This generation was like, don't remove my tap pods. From dudes' bathrooms. From I, dudes I, bathrooms if they were taking yes. them out of women's bathrooms, I'd be like, yeah, this is crazy, bro. What are yeah. you doing? Leave them alone. Yeah, But yeah. Th- they're useless in there. It's a weird farce. I don't understand, man. Do that many people have uh What's the thing, you know, when you sit on a toilet bowl too long and you get, like, bleeding? Hemorrhoids. Does everyone have fucking hemorrhoids? No, bro? it's not for that. It's because they, they say that you should be able to walk into the restroom that you feel. So let's say if a chick is like, I feel like a guy. Yeah. I, I should be able to go there and I should have access to tampons. But the way society, this is crazy because then by that logic, everything you want at all times should be available everywhere. It's like going into, I don't know, let's say there's a vegan yeah. place. All they sell is vegan stuff. And then I go and I'd be like, yeah, I know, but uh, I would like a burger because that's what I eat. That's how I feel like eating and you should have it available here. It's like, well, no, you could go get a burger. There's a burger shop right next door. It's like, no, no, yeah. but I want it here because this is where I am right now. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, it's, it's is- too aggressive. Yeah, no, this is, this is uh, it's preposterous behavior, bro. Yeah. People used to get beat up for shit like this, huh? Back in the days? People get beat to be unreasonable. <laughs> well, uh, being like that, like imagine, imagine, let's take 30 years ago, bro. And you walk into a restaurant like that and I don't know, a, a vegan place. No, you're, not gonna get, you're not going to get beat up. It's just people will throw you out. They, they wouldn't, um, they wouldn't appease your argument. They'd be like, yeah, I'm not going to, this is stupid. Like, just go, if you want chicken, go to the chicken shop. If you yeah. want, you know, th- we sell pizza here, you know? So they would just be like, I don't want to deal with it. Now it makes the news. People protest. That's crazy, man. Yeah. So it's, uh. You know what they should do? They should, they, for those people protesting, they should call on the Canadian Emergencies Act. <laughs> Stop those kids from protesting. Is there I think this protest is not even, this protest is completely stupid, but I think it should be allowed to happen. If you want to protest, I go ahead and protest. You're allowed to protest. It's a free country. Yeah. I'm, even though I'm not with what they're protesting, which is stupid, I'm with their rights to do so. So now it would be interesting, Poseidon, with this happening, uh, if anyone here is actually gonna go to their elected official whether it's in saint laurent park x or any of the liberal ones that voted against your rights according to our charter of rights and freedoms if anyone's going to send them messages of please resign right now please resign yeah this is crazy we this isn't pakistan resign right now we this is a democracy resign they're not they're not oh speaking of which javier malay argentina's new prime minister went to visit our friends in Davos. Did you see uh, that? The World Economic so Forum I didn't, invited. So I didn't watch the video. I, I've, I've seen skippets of it. Because, skippets. Because uh, I, I watched it like a trailer of a movie. It's funny. I knew we were going to talk about this. So I've been, I've been excitedly waiting to watch it with you. Mm. <laughs> Let's go. 
Let's bring up Javier. And don't worry, they do live translation audio, so you don't have to understand Spanish. It. And uh, to the advance of the state. The state is not the solution. The state is the problem itself. You are the true protagonists of this story. And rest assured that as from today, Argentina is your staunch, unconditional ally. Thank you very much, and long live freedom. Damn it. Damn it. I like that they have... Argentina's anti-socialist president, uh, press play, so you could keep on, uh, unleashes capitalist manifesto at the World Economic <laughs> Forum in Davos. Today, I'm here to tell you that the Western world is in danger. No, no, no. And it is in danger because those who are supposed to have to defend the values of the West are co-opted by a vision of the world that inexorably leads to socialism and thereby to poverty. We're here to tell you that collectivist experiments are never the solution to the problems that afflict the citizens of the world. Are you Rather, telling me communism has failed cause. again? <laughs> Do believe me. Surprise, no surprise. Better place than us, Argentines, to yeah. testify to these two points. When we adopted the model of freedom Very important. back in 1860, in 35 years we became a leading world power. And when we uh, embraced collectivism over the course of the last 100 years, we saw how our citizens started to become systematically impoverished. And we dropped to spot number 140 globally. And it should never be forgotten that socialism is always and everywhere an impoverishing phenomenon yeah, that has failed in all countries where it's been. So this is important. What he just, this little section is very important. What he just said. Because I find it amazing that young people go into university and just because some teacher says this, oh, we need communism or socialism or whatever, which co communism, socialism, uh, one leads to the next one. Uh, this is what we need. This will work. Even though everything they study in history is about it failing everywhere mm. and wherever it's still in practice, the people are impoverished. Uh, it's just a ruling class. You know how they say eat the rich? Yeah. But all you want is to have a rich class and then a poor class. You're just getting rid of the middle class. Yeah. They don't know. They're not looking at how it's being applied worldwide. They just make excuses for it on why it didn't work and why it's going to work now. And I was always wondering, like, why would people agree to all this shit? The government monitoring them, uh, social credit. And Michael Malice tweeted something, and I was like, it's fucking perfect. He tweeted, he goes, all the low IQ people loves the social credit system because that's the only thing that they could compete in is obedience. They could be the most obedient. I think I read this. It's so smart. Like what he said. Yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. why they love it. Cause they're like, so you're telling me I don't have to work. I don't have to put any effort. Yeah. I don't have to try the competition. I mean, is it, can I be the most obedient to the government? Fuck. Yeah. I could be the most obedient. It's crazy. That, that is actually very smart. Yeah. Yeah. Malice wow. is the, is, is, is the real one. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So Javier Mille went there and he told them to go fuck themselves. Good. It's pretty funny to to have him go there and like they invited him thinking like we're going to show people that we're even willing to have these people that don't like us yeah. to come on. But they didn't expect that. Like they thought he was going to be friendly because he's there. And he's like, yeah, these people suck. Everything they're saying, <laughs> this is bad for you guys. This is terrible. You're going to have a ruling class. Dude, you saw that like the Bill Gates, he was talking. I saw the video where the guy told him, Yo, people say we, we should have plant more trees. It's good for the environment. He goes, that's stupid. Yo. Who's a scientist here? Me or the, you're not a scientist, Bill. You know what's crazy? You're not a scientist. I had a conversation with somebody two yeah. days ago about this. And uh, I think somebody overheard me talking about how I like uh, I like big V8 cars or something. And uh, he goes, uh, yeah, but you got to care about the environment. You don't. Uh, I go, uh, do you prefer electric cars? He goes, yeah. I go, They're why? Because of the environment. I go, well, you're wrong. They're way and worse he goes, the he goes, what do you mean? I go, well, you know, a lot of people, they recharge with uh, coal power. They recharge those cars with coal power. That's the first thing. Also the batteries. And the batteries. And the way we get those minerals, all that shit. Though. End up polluting double the lifetime of a regular gas-powered car. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's true. I heard that. Uh, I go, do you know how do you really combat pollution? I told him. And he goes, how? I go, you plant more trees. He goes, what do you mean? This was news to him. Well, no, no. But you, that's not how you combat pollution. That's air pollution. But there's like planting more trees is not going to get plastics no, but out we're of the talking ocean. About, we're talking, I understand that, but we're talking about air pollution here. Yeah, no, you need trees. But that's not... I'm surprised that Bill Gates is now trying to change the story and say that trees are not important. And he's telling the guy like he's an idiot. He goes, that's, he told the guy in the interview, that's stupid. 
He goes, that's stupid. Every yeah. time I hear it, that's stupid. It's like, dude, unless they've been lying to us our entire lives and we don't need trees to breathe, right? That's not how we mm-hmm. they clean our oxygen. Maybe if that's a lie. But as far as I understand it, the way I know it is mm-hmm. that's what's clean. That like We need trees to breathe. You need that's green. That's what cleans our air. Yeah. I think, I think the... The Boreal Forest, so you know all the pollution that comes from the east? You know everything that ends up traveling, right? I think the Boreal Forest of Canada alone is enough to clean the airs, the the, the planet's air 10 times over. I don't know how you count that, but... I, I read it I, know that, I look, don't know how precise I grew it is. up understanding this, that trees are good for the environment. Yeah. So Bill Gates telling me that they're not isn't going to change my mind. But also because he referred <laughs> to himself as a scientist. That's what bothered me. And then did you see it? That's that- what bothered me. It's like, but you're not, I don't, do you think that we're going to forget who you are? <laughs> and we're going to like continue this farce? That's like, I come on next episode. I'm like, as your doctor. <laughs> you're like, a doctor of what, bro? <laughs> so stupid. How the fuck and, are people buying into this? And then he this? gaslit the, the interviewer and what he was saying? like, uh, I was like, all right, so we're the idiots. Everyone else is smart. Yeah. Did you see that? Oh, I'm like, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. Remember yeah. when he got pied? Yeah, that was good. I like how it's like, we're the idiots. Us, the scientists. You're not a scientist. You're not a scientist. Oh, God. Next thing you're going to tell me is men don't need tampons. <laughs> Fucking silly. So silly. So uh, Canada, I feel like there's something changing. People may be getting, even though there's still a lot of idiots, people may be getting so frustrated with Trudeau. And I noticed at the UFC event, if you want to bring that up, when the chant broke out randomly, this wasn't even during the oh, main yeah. event. Uh, it was fuck Trudeau chants that came out. But it was so random. It didn't come out at a point in the fight where it was like Strickland, you know, after what he yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't. It was just people were like, yo, fuck Trudeau. Just a side note. I think the manliest way a man can use a tampon is after he got into like a big scrap, beat the shit out of five guys, and he has like a nosebleed. We didn't need that comment. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Fuck Trudeau. And this is random, bro. Like, that's a random thing. The, the, there was a fight happening. It wasn't like Trudeau was there. Or yeah, and people went out of their way to say, chant, fuck Trudeau. I'm I surprised Trudeau didn't show up, though. To he's the not fight? A, yeah, he's not a team player. <laughs> there was a big event happening in Tirana, and you didn't, uh, you didn't show up to, to support the fights. Yeah. He could have went to support the Canadian fighters. Oh, bro, you said Tirana the way you said it? Tirana. For, for some reason, I thought, bro, what city in Canada is called Tirana? Tirana. Tirana <laughs> is the capital of your, your family. Uh, it's the capital of your family's country. Okay, how dare you? Okay. Don't, don't you dare. What? Disrespect me like that ever again. I'm not Albanian. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you know then? It's a capital. Ah! <laughs> ah! I, I learned from truth, you, actually. The truth comes out. I learned I'm from a very you. cultured man. Yeah. <laughs> I know geography. I know history. I know many things. And I, know but science? apparently, no science, because uh, I thought trees were good. Apparently, I'm a fucking dork. I'm just a dummy. We gotta just cut them all down. They're just taking up space. They're taking up Bill Gates' space. He could build buildings, condos. He could build stuff. Yeah, yeah, but the goddamn trees are in the way. This is Bill's world, bro. <laughs> this is the world. Just hey, Trump's making a comeback. Jesus Christ! Did you see that shit? No. Uh, so he wins in Iowa. Uh, oh, yeah, N- Nikki Haley goes. Uh, Nikki Haley, I think, might be a lunatic because she was third place, third or fourth place, and she's like, "That's right, Iowa has spoken. <laughs> they said what they want." Like as if she won. It's like you weren't even second. You were third or fourth. What the hell's going on? God, that- she's a lunatic. Oh, uh, actually, go back to where you were. I I, I retweeted that from from um from Ted. What Click on this? this guy, bro. This is a TED talk. Or you're gonna Are you you're gonna get angry. No. Yeah. Everything has lost its meaning. Have you noticed? You're gonna get mad now. I, I want to see your reaction. Actually, let's listen to this guy. Many, maybe most legal systems are based on this idea, this belief in human rights. But human Excuse rights me. are just like heaven and like God. It's just a fictional story <laughs> that we've invented. What? Spread around. Shh. It may be. A very nice story. It's amazing. Maybe a very attractive story. We want to believe it. But it's just a story. It's not a reality. <laughs> it is not a biological reality. Just as jellyfish and woodpeckers and ostriches have no rights, homo sapiens have no rights also. Take a human, <laughs> cut him open, look inside. <laughs> you find their blood, 
and you find the heart and lungs and kidneys, but you don't find there any rights. The Where are these rights? You find rights is in the fictional stories that humans have invented and spread around. This is amazing. And the same thing is also true in the political field. States and <laughs> nations are also like human rights Pause? and like God. And you know what? Actually, I agree with him. Uh, I say we strip everyone's uh, <laughs> rights and we start with him. These we, are we cut him in half and see if there's human rights in him as well. I love how the argument <laughs> always flip-flops, right? Yeah. So they'll be like, no, you gotta... You have to believe in something that's completely not true because they have a right to believe in it. And you're like, all right, I believe in that. And then the second you're like, all right, let's, you know, we have human rights. No, you don't. That is a made up concept. You God, have no rights. Man. If I'm the government, I can kill you. Uh, I'm the government. You have no rights. It's all made up. Of course, we made human rights up. There's no, like, but it's, it's not a right argument. That's how we have society. That's why we have yeah. a civilization because we've agreed to certain things. This is why we love animals as well. Yeah, like, we treat animals with respect. Well, we try, but a lot of them well, get murdered too. Yeah. I'm just saying we, as a society, we've decided that the way it's going to run. Because right now, if we go by this model, this this extreme uh, left-wing model of no one has rights, it's all fake. You can just walk in the street, run people over. Yeah. There's no, It's anarchy everywhere. We don't want that. We don't want to live like that. And people would classify that as the jungle. That's worse than the jungle. The jungle is more peaceful than what the world would be like yeah. if we would just do it GTA style. Yeah, 100%. So this shit is uh this is uh this is very alarming. It's lunatic stuff. This is yeah, yeah, lunatic. yeah, no 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 this is this is actually they are getting very brazen. Yeah, yeah. This is bad. This is not good at all, man. If they are speaking openly about saying human rights is a made up thing, but he's not wrong. It is a made up thing. It is made up. His argument of why we shouldn't have it because it's made up is stupid. Yeah. But it is made okay, up. I see what you mean. Yes, it is. That is true. That's what I'm, like uh, honestly, it is true. We made it up. It's, it's not written anywhere. I get yeah. that, but I wouldn't argue that that's the reason why. Because then, okay, why are you wearing clothes, bro? Yeah, that's a made up thing. Shame. Let's just all walk naked. Just do outside. it naked, doggy. Why are you wearing clothes? Hanging so, and banging. Yeah. So no, I I am. Uh, I'm obviously not with him. Uh, yeah. No. No. I know. I'm for human rights. This is this is uh, this is preposterous shit, bro. This is this is insane. Yeah, he needs a good tampon. <laughs> just to, uh, put eight tampons in his mouth just to shut him the fuck up. <laughs> Two Who gave ears. this man a microphone? <laughs> Ted. Ted X. It's fucking Ted Bird, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane, huh? Nah, this is this is uh This is bad, bro. This Come is, on, right. No, no, no. This is this is uh It's a fiction. Like you make up the god. We're going down a very bad path, my friend. This is, uh, he believes this. Of course. But he's right, though, about that. That's what I'm saying is he's no, not but, wrong. But he, it is made up. The, but I, I understand. But, <laughs> ah, bro, this is, I'm, I'm so mad right it, now. It would be annoying to have an argument with him because he'd be like, are you telling me it is not made up? It's like, if that's what you're arguing, then no, I agree with you. It is made up. However, I believe we should have, right, why do you believe in made up things? <laughs> Why you like fiction? <laughs> it's like, God damn it, he stumped me again. God damn. Mm. This is bad. Yeah. I mean, it is, what he's saying is valid. It is made up. It's just, I don't. Uh, nah, but still, bro, people like this need to But be it's shunned. whenever it suits them. Yeah. Whenever it suits them, we don't have rights. When it suits them, we do have rights. This is coming from people who worship, like, demonic shit. No, the, well, we call it demonic, but it's just death cults. Like, de yeah. like we need to reduce the population by killing off people, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, it's even that. That's com I think that's fiction too. Uh, uh, I don't see how reducing the population would help because the problems we have isn't because the population is too big. Because it's not the fact that we're consuming that's the issue. It's how we're um how we're getting good. the resources, yeah, and how we're um discarding it. That's the problem. Do you get it? So right now, obviously, if you get 50 people shitting in the studio on the floor, it's going to be way harder to clean up, right? Yeah. But even if you cut those down to 25 and 25 people are st still shitting in the studio, you have the same problem at a smaller yeah. scale. Yeah, I see what you mean. The problem that you need to fix is get people to stop taking a dump inside the studio <laughs> to go to the bathroom, right? Yeah. You can fix that. You can get 1,000 people. If they're taking dumps in the bathroom, you don't have a problem. Exactly. Yeah. That's um, Dumps on rotation, boy. Dumps on rotation. Just wait your turn. <laughs> Take a dump in the bathroom. Uh, I watched a video. I don't know how true this is. Oh, this was a while ago. It came up into my memory bank. My memory bank. My memory bank. 
Uh, apparently, uh, we can fit the entire human population in the state of Texas. I kind of tend to believe that because uh, I know we, that there's a lot. Uh, Texas is big. We and all have to be side by side, though. Shout out to Texas, by the way. A lot of fun. Yeah. I had a good time last week. Yeah. We're going to start. We're going to plan soon, but I think two drink minimum. We're going to be going down to Austin once a month for a couple of days to record episodes there. Oh, shit. Yeah. Because um, uh, all our, like, like let's say our friends and comedy and all that, right? Yeah. They don't come up to Canada too often. And I mean, why Why would they? <laughs> Have you seen the videos? <laughs> and now, because Rogan has created, like, a mecca for comics, there's a lot of comics that are always pulling up, going through. So it's a good spot to go for a couple of days, do podcasts with everyone, bring them on the show, and then you bank some episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a fucking... Dude, Texas is uh, it's fun. You get good barbecue. Texas is happening. Oh, I love barbecue. I love guns. Yeah. I love big old V8s, big trucks. You have big, all that, baby. God damn. I love, I love Texas. A lot of dudes. I ain't even been to Texas. I love Texas. A lot of manly men. A lot of manly men. You're going to you're gonna get your men off. I'm going to feel very safe. <laughs> and sexy. <laughs> yeah. They're going to take you to pound town. Wait, what? What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I got carried away there. Uh, damn, bro. <laughs> Just feeling sexy. Just manly things, bro. <laughs> I was playing uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Oh. You heard of this game? I have. I started playing I should start playing it again. It's a lot of fun. However, it's very time consuming. Yes. I uh, I went, because there's a lot of optional things. I went to hell. I'm trying to get a magical hammer. As you should. That's where you belong. I went to hell. That is where I belong. I went to hell. <laughs> And then uh, I walked into a room, and uh, dudes are always trying to bang me uh, in this game. And then I walked It's in, like real life. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> and then I walked into a room, and there's this, this devil who, who's like, he's just in a Speedo, and like he's wearing like leather straps. Oh, I hope you bang them. Legs open. He's trying to get me to bang too. And I was like, he's like, take off your clothes. I'm like, I'm not taking my fucking clothes off. You know? <laughs> I was taking the option of, the, I was like, what are you, why should I have sex? I just walked in here. I'm looking for a magic hammer. He's like, I got a magic hammer. Right? <laughs> and I was like, what are you, what the fuck is going on? Everyone's trying to have sex with me. That's funny. Yeah. And I'm, my character isn't a chick. It's just, it's my dude. It's just a big bearded dude. And all the dudes are trying to bang him. That's funny. Yeah. I had it, I'm going to start playing that, the game just because of that. <laughs> just so you can get banged? Just so, just so I could bang all the devils. It's a fun game, but I'm just tired of people trying to fuck me. Let me just kill stuff. <laughs> I get it. That's what I want to kill. But, but uh, then I killed the devil. I killed him. No. Nah. That's what happens. Are you trying to rape me? Are you crazy? The devil himself? You think I'm going to be the victim of a rap? <laughs> Are you nuts, bro? You're uh, in hell yeah. for a reason. <laughs> yeah. And then now I got to fight like the actual devil that's in there because he caught me stealing and he's very upset. He doesn't like it. So rape is good. Stealing bad. Yeah. He said he's going to make, he said he's going to punish me. Oh. It's probably going to be sexual. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not gonna allow myself to be punished. I'm gonna kill every demon I fucking see. Whips involved, probably for sure. Yeah. So it's a it's a fun game. It's if you like that kind of stuff, like Dungeons and Dragons type of shit. Like it's 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 a it's a fun game. I see why people like it. But there's also some like little little bugs that I don't like that pisses me off. Like, there's a couple of bugs. There's one. This is crazy. So there's uh, I f I don't know how I did this, but there's like in order to get because it's optional, right? So it's very difficult. It's like the most difficult dungeon. I don't know if you want to be playing in the background videos of uh, sure. Baldur's Gate 3. Sure, fuck it. But, yeah, yeah, you don't have to put volume. Just have yeah, them yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah. So, essentially, there's... Um, so, in order to get this, it's, like, uh, it's an important piece of the puzzle. In order to get this thing, you could choose to go find a way, because you can't just go there. You have to find a way to teleport to hell. Like... You know how crazy that is? Like, you have to find a way to teleport through hell. Well, of course, you can't just walk there. So I went to a place where it's like a museum or whatever the fuck where there's this chick there who you have to talk to her, and if you could pay her, she can give you a way to teleport to hell. Okay? okay. Now, oh, Phil Roy. He's the oh, Hello shit. Fresh guy, yeah. So it, so what happened is I uh, I spoke to her. She wanted 10000 Poseidon. Mm -hmm, I'm listening. She, she wanted you could just leave it here. She wanted ten thousand like a gold, okay, to tell me how to get to hell. I don't have that kind of money. Mm. I'm just a poor boy from a poor family, <laughs> trying to save the world. Yeah. So I go, what the fuck am I gonna do? So I was going upstairs. I was investigating, and then uh, I stole some shit, and she caught me stealing. So she came upstairs, and said, uh, "Were you fucking stealing? Like the shit missing?" And then I said, uh, "Yeah. What are you gonna do about it, bitch?" <laughs> Which wasn't the right answer. So she ran out and she was supposed to get security, I guess. But then, bro, she disappeared. I went away. I came back. She's nowhere to be found, but I need her. I need to talk to her. 
To go to hell. To go to hell. So I'm like, fuck, am I stuck in this game? So then I went and looked online. And it's like, how does she get you to hell? It says the way she gets you to hell is she gives you, after you pay a pouch, and the pouch contains these different materials. Incense, a gold coin, uh, this diamond, all this shit. And then there's a circle. There's like a pentagram upstairs. And you got to put the right stuff in the right place that oh, she gave shit. you and a skull and all that. And it'll open up a portal to hell. So then I looked at the items she gave you and I go, I'm going to go, I'm going to just find similar items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I fucking stole a diamond from here. I found a skull. I took everything, incense, and then I did it myself. And it opened the portal. It worked. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it cheated and the portal worked. Well, you didn't cheat. It's, it's in there. So what I learned about Baldur's Gate 3 is... Uh, the game is made like that on purpose. It's made like that for you to find workarounds if you if, if you, you fuck up. If, yeah, if you yeah. fuck up. So, because because it it's like it's like it's like how it would be in real life, quote unquote, yeah, quote yeah, unquote. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. you you mess this one thing up, but hold on, you could still do it. It's yeah, like doors. You don't lock doors in games. You can't get through. Exactly. In this one, only can you break through. But if the door you can't break, I have a guy, uh, the wizard that's with me. Yeah. One of his powers is he unlocks anything. So I just really? always put it on lock door. So instead of going around and doing all this finding keys, I'm like, yo, wizard, fucking open the door. I just blow them up. You can't blow up all doors. You find some doors that you can't attack, that, really? they're, that they're magically sealed or some shit like that. But uh, me, I got a wizard on deck. There was one, there was one part I, I, where I killed all right. the goblins. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I wanted to get behind the locked door, and I thought there was like crazy treasure because I was being blocked by like these gnomes or these Oh, so you started playing. You're playing the game. I started playing a while ago. I stopped because I, I bought... Uh, Total War Warhammer 3. On PC? On PC. Uh, Total War is like, uh, it's an RTS, right? It's RTS. It's it's like uh, Civ meets uh, Age of Empires type of thing a bit. Because you have, you have your city-states, you have your provinces, but then you have battles like real RTS games. You feel me, dog? Yeah. So then you have your armies and shit, and you have up a maximum of 20 units. Dude, I stopped playing that game because when I tell you I would stay up until 5 in the morning... Playing, w one more turn, one more turn. No, no, one. More. Oh, these orcs try to fuck me, eh? That, that, one so, more turn. So RTS, when it's a good RTS game, Age of Empires, uh, right. not Age of Empires, Civilization, and all that stuff, uh, with the one more turn thing. That's the that's the curse of those games. Yeah. It's always everyone's like, oh shit, just one more turn, one more turn, one more turn, and it never ends. That's what happens to me. I tried Civilization, didn't like it. I love Civilization. It's just it, it takes long. Yeah. Like Civ takes long. You, it's not like a half hour thing. It takes long, especially if you're if you're doing everything correctly. You you're expanding your empire. Your it takes super. That's why I can't play it because it takes longer than uh, like it, it consume my time more than a game like this. Because a game like this, whenever I want, I pause, I save, and I leave. Exactly. Civilization. I'm like, oh, just one more turn. But by the time you get to your turn, everyone else does their stuff. Here's yeah. what happens: you say one more turn. They all do their turns. So then the landscape changed. Something yep. happened. And you're like, yep. oh, let me let me just adjust for what the world is now. Yes. And then uh, I'll, I'll save. And then you do it. And then you let the turn go. But then something else happens. And you're always adjusting. You're like, ah, one, it's not going to take long. One more thing. One more exactly. thing. One more thing. And then it takes super, super long. Uh, but they're fun as hell. They're fun. And I go, I go on. I killed this guy too. Quests of annihilation when I tell you. I killed this guy. Did you get here yet? No, the goblin camp. I killed. Oh goblin. no, I did. I did. I killed this guy. Yeah. Yeah. I killed everyone in the in the camp. Yeah, me too. I I, I kind of overdid it because you apparently you don't even have to kill anyone if you don't want to. You got to negotiate and shit. Yeah, but, but I always... murdered everyone. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, I when I was leaving the camp, they the exterior camp goblins didn't know I murdered everyone. Me neither. And then I killed them. And then I, I didn't even have to murder them, but I murdered them as yeah, well. Yeah, same. I killed everyone. <laughs> I said and I'm it, clearing this camp. I, I I exterminated. I did some like genocidal shit on these goblins. Yeah, yeah. And then I lost twice, but I made it a point to restart from the safe point. <laughs> yeah. And to <laughs> murder Save them. Save <laughs> It's fun the the combat in this game. It is. It is. It's a very well made. It's a very well made game. Um, I wonder if they ever want to work with me, Larry. I know that they have Larian Studios in Quebec, one of their offices, Quebec City. This Ooh. this is this is the, the amount of time they put into this is crazy. It took years to make this did. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just that in later on, there's some weird loading issues that I don't like. Like I'm, like the way it loads in is like let's say someone's uh, it cuts to a character. Yeah, and you're seeing his his uh, clothes appear as he's talking like the the um, like the assets are loading slow oh yeah that's you know weird. what i mean i yeah. fucking hate that shit it pisses me off because i know that that's just the way the game was made it's not a console thing or anything it's just yeah 
It was a little because it only happens. It mostly starts happening in the later game. It felt really? a bit more rushed the later game because they they took way more time to build the first act. Yeah. Then they did the second, the third. That's known because they did the whole. Um, this was basically in beta. It was a paid beta for like two, three years. God damn. So that's why the first act is so tight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. People were giving feedback. They were fixing bugs. Um. You know what I'm? Uh, what I play now? Yeah. FC twenty four. Oh, uh, FIFA. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've been playing some FIFA. Too. I enjoy FIFA because, uh, you know, you can play one game or two games and that's it. Stop. I don't play online, though. I, I have my manager career. I tried to play online the other day. Yeah. And I got so mad because I accidentally joined a tournament that was, I thought I was joining like a regular tournament where you just pick a team. Yeah. But it was ultimate team tournament. And I hadn't made an ultimate team. Oh, uh, so you got rattled. I was so angry because basically I had good players. Yeah. But they weren't. Like, they weren't magical, I guess. Like, you have to magify them or whatever. So everyone else, even, like, I have the same player as you, but you have him in magical version. So everyone's just out running. Yeah. I just, they're so fast that you can't catch them. And I was like, oh, this is bullshit. So that's is- that's really annoying. And I'm pretty sure they're... So it's paid, they made it pay to win. Yeah. Which is what I don't like. It's not about who's better. It's about who spent the most money. And then, because if, even if you're a terrible player, well, if all you have to do is run straight and no one could catch you, you're gonna win. Exactly. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, I I I bought like a few coins in the beginning just to get a team going. Uh, ever since then, I've been getting magical players and shit, all kinds. And I win. I win most of my games now. But it took me a while to get there. Yeah, but w- once you get there, where you're faster than everyone. Yeah. So it has nothing to do with who's b- better player. Yeah. That's what I don't like. Uh, I prefer if I can play a regular tournament where we each pick a team and we have normal human beings. Well, I had shitty players and I was still rattling people. That were superstars. That were superstars. Oh, then they're retarded. It's impossible. Like you, you can't. You just have to step left. Yeah, yeah but but the thing is, because I knew their their game plan, they would just counter every time and outrun me. So I would throw all my defenders back and my midfielders, make the middle completely like uh, unpassable, and then I'd get a certain opening and score and win. But uh, yeah, well, even when you were slower, how would you get an opening? Like you understand, I I played. Oh, I literally, I'm telling you, I played a game where I had no, I had just regular human beings. Yeah. And the guy was all specials. It is impossible because you can never go on the counter. I also got lucky. I can have 50 feet. He's gonna catch up. That's the problem. I also got lucky. I got three players, uh, t- towards the beginning that really helped me win games. Uh, one of them is uh, Saka. Uh, he's a right winger that runs really fast, and I got him like in this special form. And then I got Haaland and Mbappe, which even in their regular form, if you you can shoot from outside the box and you can score, it's like a sniper bullet. So I got really lucky with those three players, and those have been my main three players in the game. And even though my all-around team wasn't that good, I was able, with those three players, to really, like, I'm at, uh, in Rivals, the division, I'm at Division 7 now. And uh, But without those three players, I will say it would have been impossible. So the point is, it's pay to play. It's pay to win. Yeah. And that's why people don't like EA. Yeah, EA is a bunch of... It's pay to win. I, I don't mind if you want to charge for cosmetics or if someone's willing to pay, good for them. But if you could pay to win, it's yeah. fucking stupid, bro. It's cheating. So Baldur's Gate 3, I see why it won game of the year. I get it. it it's uh, There's a lot of work that went into this. It's a lot of fun. People are having a good time with it. So I fucking get it. But... I just wish they had worked a little bit more on the bugs in the later part of the game, in the latter parts, because there's a lot that you could fix. Like yeah. there's there's a lot of stuff that went wrong. So you, Poseidon, you've been uh, you've been fighting all morning. Uh, you just want to go on vacation, and people may, won't let yeah. you. Yeah, exactly. I think you will. Oh, I will. I think you will. You uh, like I haven't I haven't been on a proper vacation since 2015. Which means that this city has not been on a proper vacation since 2015. You think so? You've been inside it. You got to <laughs> just leave it alone for a bit, and then it's, they're going to be happy. That's funny. <laughs> just get out. Yeah. I've, I've gone on mini ones, like, you know, quick relaxation stuff, like to Cuba and shit, but nothing really where I completely, like, uh, reset my brain. Yo, I was coming back um, when I flew in last week. Uh, you know when you're coming right at customs where you fill out the, the form on the screen? Yeah. So I have my headphones on, I'm listening to music, and I'm filling it out, you know, as fast as I can so I can get out. Mm-hmm. And I have a guy, uh, you know, you feel someone here, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I look over, it's a guy that works there, and, and he's, t- he's mumbling, you know, he's talking to yeah. me. He's like, what the fuck? I think I'm having, excuse me? And he goes, what part of Greece are your parents from? And then I look at him and I go, what the fuck do you know I'm Greek? Like, I was so, and you know me, I'm angry. 
And he's like, with a name like that. And I'm like, what the fuck? You're looking at the screen? Like, I, I was just getting angry. <laughs> I was just getting angry, bro. And the guy, like, he was just making conversation. I'm walking around. I saw a Greekster. But me, the whole, I was like, fuck. This is weird, bro. Why is this guy looking at my fucking, screen? like, I was yeah, just yeah, angry yeah. the whole time. Instead of just being like, yeah, whatever. Just a curious, uh, just a curious dude. Yeah. I was very upset. <laughs> yeah. It's like, why are you looking at my shit? You're hilarious, bro. Just let me finish what I'm doing. <laughs> a- am I wrong, though? It is weird. Was he an employee? Yeah, yeah, he was an employee. But I don't need your help. Like, if I ask for you to yeah, come help me yeah. fill out a form, come. But nowhere else could you be filling out a form and someone's looking over your shoulder and being like, oh, that's an interesting yeah, thing. Like, I don't like the whole shoulder thing. That bothers me, too. Yeah, I, looking over people's shoulders will get them very angry. Yeah. yeah I, don't I don't like it. it. I, don't, I don't like it. It feels like a feels like a spirit looming over me, like, fuck off. And I had a guy on the plane next to me. It was the two seats, right? It was 2-2. Two, two. Mm-hmm. So I had a, a guy next to me. He was on the window who did not understand, bro. He kept encroaching in my space. Oh. I had to shove his arm once, and he got mad, and he was trying to shove my arm. And I go, no, no, you're in the window. I'll get the armrest. Or we could share the armrest, one back, one front. But you can't have the whole armrest. And then he's putting his legs. You know how, like, this my seat? Yeah. He's pushing. He's putting his leg over. And, and I'm like, bro, there's a line. You could see the line. Yeah. Why is your knee close to my crotch? Yeah. Like, get the fuck out of here. It's just encroaching. Some people don't know how to live. And these are simple things. This is why uh, I always take aisle seat. It's I so- always take aisle two. I was in the aisle. That's what I'm telling you. Really? Yeah, he was on the window seat. That's what I'm saying. Oh, it was a two seater? Yeah, I, I said that. That's how I started this. Oh, that's weird behavior on his part. Yeah. But I always take aisle. It's not I'm weird. It's selfish. It's just I need more space, so yeah. I'm gonna take this guy's space. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. like you. It's like you. It's like you, spited him or whatever by by taking that seat. But the thing is, because he was there first, he was sitting in in the window, and then I showed up. I was the last person to get on the plane. Yeah. I went to my aisle, and then it's like he. It's like in his head, he's like, "I was here first, so oh, I should take." That's but, why. But you were in your seat first, not he, in mine. He's mad because he thought he got, like, uh, an aisle. To himself, like a, a like a spot with yeah. like two seats, he's gonna yeah, chill. Yeah, yeah. But the seat, but and the plane then he was showed full. up last minute. Yeah, I get that he was upset that he didn't have. Oh, it all doesn't. To it doesn't give him a right at all to 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 do that. But I'm just saying. Yeah, I know. I know how he was thinking. Crazy, huh? Yeah, but I always take aisle because uh, I have long legs. And he was an Arab guy who. Uh, oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, he made me go anti-Palestine. I was like, you know what? If that if we can't share this, if we can't share this land, you're gonna be unreasonable. <laughs> That's fine. If you're gonna be unreasonable, sir, that's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna support the Israelis. <laughs> hey, it was just crazy to see that to see a human adult be like that. Yeah. Because in my head, I want the least interactions with strangers, like awkward, like as possible. Like I want to keep my I want to keep in my area. You can keep in your area. Yeah. No, some people don't care. Hold on, I just gotta pay for parking. <laughs> you too. No. Oh. Why? Well, it costs more. You should just park downstairs. I didn't think uh, I didn't think Guido was not gonna show up. But even if he did, what, what would that change? Oh, because I I paid at like uh, twelve thirty. Okay. Like, had we started like when we were supposed to start? You weren't even here. No, I, I was outside. I've been here since twelve thirty. No, I know, but I mean, because yeah. you had your own shit to do. So either way, whether uh, you yeah, came yeah. or not, you weren't doing your stuff. Yeah, that's true. You're right. Yeah, that's okay. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Uh, but it's just mo- I I had a long conversation. I couldn't get in. What do you mean? It was uh. She, Talking, you know, the parking attendant just yelling about stuff. Oh, Jesus Christ, bro. The other day, she, uh, bro, I swear to God, she, I think she held me for like 15 minutes. This it happens. Sometimes I park on the street. I, I, well, I didn't know. I looked down and then I noticed it was 59. And I was like, yo, I, I have a podcast at one. Yeah. And, uh, dude, when I, t- uh, like, you know how you do the acceleration a bit to go? Oh, it doesn't, doesn't work sometimes. Oh, sometimes, sometimes God. I'm literally, I can't see her anymore and she's still going. So yeah. it's, yeah, yeah, she's not, it's like a, I feel bad because she's a nice lady. I feel bad saying this, but she's like an NPC that has to finish her... her uh, The dialogue? The dialogue. <laughs> you can't skip it. It's an unskippable scene, bro. You're driving away. She's finishing her story, bro. <laughs> it's the wackiest fucking thing, bro. I've and I'm not this. willing to take on that side quest anyway, so yeah. there's no point. <laughs> it's so wacky. And I feel bad saying because she's she's very nice. She's a very sweet lady. Uh. But it's it's uh, it's a bit wacky what she does. Uh, and, w- and you know what I, th- what's, what I find funnier is she's actually aware of it. And she knows, and I think she actually enjoys it. I think she she takes. Uh, no, it doesn't. She doesn't oh. care. She's like, I gotta do my shit. Yeah, that's it. That's but then again, I feel for her because imagine being stuck in a booth all day. Like what is that three by four booth? In a small chair, it's cold. You're cold all day. You don't see people. You know, you want to talk. Humans are are social animals. Pantelis. 
Uh, trans men who had mastectomy discovered to be five months pregnant, making rare seahorse dead. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> That's exactly I what. I have no idea. What, what? What, your your um, reaction is what all the comments are saying. Trans men who had mastectomy. You could bring this up. Just look for it. Trans. So this is a woman who wanted type to be in, a man. Sh- type in trans men. Oy vey. Five months pregnant. The parent to be referred to only as Marco in Italian media. Oh, this was in Italy. Already had a breast removal operation and was preparing to get rid of uh, their uterus when the pregnancy was discovered at a hospital in Rome. For imagine you're trying to get rid of your uterus and like, did you not realize someone came inside you? That's disgusting. Oh shit! Having discovered the pregnancy, the first thing to do is to suspend hormone therapy immediately. Doctor Giulia Senofonte. An endoc- what? An endocrinologist told La Repubblica, the news outlet that first reported. Okay, la, uh, okay, told la, la Repubblica is the Italian newspaper. I got confused. Uh, uh, the expert on gender therapy warned that the fetus could be at risk. Obviously, obviously, it's difficult to talk about it in abstract terms, but it all depends on the timing of the suspension of the dosages of testosterone that the person is taking. God, de- first of all. You have to be a fucking lunatic to not know that you're five months pregnant while you're doing mastectomies. Like, you're clear, aren't you supposed to be in touch with your body? Like, you're doing all these body modifications. You don't yeah. realize that someone came inside you. That's fucking wild. So this, this is a, a woman. So, a gay man. This is, this is a woman. No, no, it's not a gay man. This is a. Wo- no, how can a gay, a gay man, man get pregnant? No, a gay it, man came inside her. No, no, this was a woman. No, because this is a trans man. No, no, no. This was a woman who turned now, you see, this is after the mastectomy. So, and this five months pregnant. So, five months ago, the mastectomy just happened. This is after the mastectomy. So, this is five months ago. Oh, shit. So, someone came inside her five months ago, and now the, the, the trying to get rid of the uterus. So, trying to go full, full dude. But in the process of doing that, they found that, um, she was pregnant. So like, whoa, now we have to stop. I don't know you were fucking five months pregnant. I thought you said you, you want to be a dude. Why are you letting... If you want to be a dude, why are, you, why are dudes fucking your pussy? <laughs> <laughs> this is why they're putting tampons in the... This is wild. Bathroom. That's crazy, yeah. This is wild. But this may just be... Maybe maybe she or he or whatever uh, this thing is uh, wanted to, to, to transition. Do you see this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> wanted to transition... Because of the pregnancy hormone. You know how women get crazy during pregnancy because of the hormones? Maybe this was just a phase because she didn't even know she was pregnant. No, that's not how that works. No? No. I'm an old man. I don't know what I'm saying. You're not an old man. You're a dumb man. (laughs) It's not the same thing. A lot of old men uh, get it. Uh, So you just did a mastectomy. Oh, and I just, oh, fucking, that's fucked up too. Because let's say the kid. Oh, she can't breastfeed. Yeah, there's all, oh, fuck. that's. But I think there are other ways too if you can't breastfeed. There are, uh, you could get the nutrients artificially. Because there's a lot of women that for some reason or another, they can't breastfeed. You could get it artificially, I think. Like, because it's, it's the kid, uh, the reason why he needs the breast milk is there's certain nutrients it's getting in the beginning, right? That it could digest. So I think you could artificially, yeah, the kid's not going to die. But if the kid comes out properly, because now that's what they're worried about is the, the hormone therapy. God damn. That's crazy, eh? You heard of crack babies. <laughs> now get a load of hormone, <laughs> like <laughs> trans babies. I don't think they could survive. I think that's why they, they so stopped. Either. I don't think it would survive. Yeah. I think it would start because, bro, first of all, uh, they wanted to remove the uterus. Like the whole point was, she was like, I want to remove the uterus. This is this is bananas, bro. But not the only thing that could be fucked up is if you find out that she knew she was pregnant and she's like, remove yeah. my uterus. That'd be, that's lunatic shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think, there's no way that she knew. Right? It'd be crazier if it's like her dad's or something. Uh, oh, she, no, I find out fucked herself. <laughs> but, uh, hold on, the person can continue to ovulate and consequently runs the risk of pregnancy. A person falling pregnant while undergoing a gender transition is not unheard of. With a number of such cases. Oh, so it happens pretty often. Oh, my God. So do you think people think, oh, I'm transitioning. I can't get pregnant. Uh, you know what? Uh, it might be that. It might be that. Because remember, like, back in the day, people used to have, like, when, when they're young, they're in high school, like, oh, you can't get, 
you can't get pregnant if you're on top. You can't get pregnant. Like they used to have these yeah, yeah, stupid yeah, yeah. like myths that they believe in. If you pull out in time, yeah. Well, if you pull out in time, then you can't get pregnant. No, because there's always pre cum too that has a. No, but I'm saying if you're not coming at all in someone, you can't get pregnant. That's how that works. No, but you but, have pre cum. Right, but uh, well, there's no guarantee that you that you're gonna get pre cum inside. Yes, We're but saying if you risk. don't come, that counts as everything. If you're not coming in a person, yeah. Whether it's pre cum or post cum, if you're not coming in them, they're not getting pregnant. You have to That's come true. in them so they can get pregnant. Yeah, but pre-cum has been proven to have uh, uh, spermazoids. Yeah, I know, but that's not what we're saying. We're saying if you're not coming in them, whether it's pre-cum or post-cum, if yeah. there's no cum in them, they can't get pregnant. Yes, that's true. That's what we're saying. So um, the pull-out method could work as long as you're legitimately not coming. But in general, anything that involves you coming in someone just runs the risk of getting them pregnant. Yeah. So I think maybe the same thing happened here, kind of like those myths where like, oh, I'm transitioning. I can't get pregnant. But you can still get pregnant. You still have all the all the tools. That's some strong sperm too, though. If she was doing like conversion therapies and shit. Well, no, it's not because she hadn't removed the uterus or anything. That's not the... No, but she was taking hormones prior, no? Or she started five months after the pregnancy. No, she basically what they're saying is she started already now, but it wasn't from... Five months ago is when she got pregnant. Okay. I now just, I... what she just did is she masect them. You got river tits so, and they put her on testosterone. Okay, so, oh, okay, okay, I understand. She's been pregnant for five months, so the... Yeah, yeah, okay. Now it's a question of how strong the baby is. Yo. Is, imagine the hormone therapy, you just fucking raise a giant. Oh, dude, that's true. Yo, imagine the thing comes out 15 pounds. That would be fucking... <laughs> oof. You want to remove a uterus, now you're removing a fucking <laughs> a wild boar from your vagina. I came out uh 11. What? I came out 11 pounds. Years old? No, no, 11 pounds. You came out 11 pounds? Is that a lot? I don't know if that's, that's a lot, a lot. for a kid. I don't know how much the kids are supposed to weigh. average is seven, seven and a half, eight. You came out at 11 boys. pounds. I came out at 11. All head. <laughs> Bro, my brother's walked out. Just a giant skull. <laughs> uh, my poor mother. Because she had to raise you, yeah? <laughs> that too. She had to live in the same house as you. <laughs> oh, shit. Just all the socks are hard. There's cum everywhere. Actually, I would never come in socks because of that. Where would you come? I forgot. You had a story about getting in trouble coming in the bathroom, I think, or everywhere. Oh, I would just uh, go to the bathroom, lock the door, pretend I'm taking a shit, but I'm just jerking off. And everyone realized after a while. Uh, well, my brothers and I would do that, and then we, we all knew we were jerking off. And then if we take too long, we'd knock and yell, be like, just pick a porno already. Why is he, why is he always taking a shit after Baywatch? <laughs> and then your mom's like, oh, the beach gets his stomach riled up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks at the beach and it just makes him want to take a shit <laughs> for an hour and a half. <laughs> I'm like, a, he's like a cat. He wants to take a shit in the sand. <laughs> oh, shit. All my lotion's gone. Yeah. <laughs> so all, you would all take turns jerking off. That's weird. At uh, different times of the day, we weren't taking turns. Well, we we're three boys, bro. That's a lot of testosterone in a household, bro. Especially uh, in, during the teenage years, bro. We always, we would always fight each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cox first. Uh, no, you'd fist fight first. over bathroom time. No, not that computer time. Okay, video game time. We used to, bro. I remember we broke tables, couches, you name it. We'd suplex each other. Sometimes <laughs> they team up, suplex me because I was bigger. They team up and suplex me. Yeah, 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 we'd throw each other on the walls and shit. One time I got really scared though. Um, by mistake. We were doing like a wrestling move, and I thought I was going to be like wise and shit. I'm like, I'm going to trick my brother. And this was the middle one. And I had him charge at me, and I lifted my knee to stop him. I'm like, I'm going to be smart and shit. I was like really young. You just need him in the face? I need him in the gut. Oh, that's good. And uh, But he started turning blue, bro. So I panicked. I called 911. Ambulance came. I, I completely, uh, I need him right in the, you know. Esophagus. No, you know. Under, Solar plexus. Under the rib cage, there's like this uh, sensitive spot where if you get hit there, like it cuts your respiration because it like bamboozles your lungs or something. Okay. I need him. He ran into my knee, but right on that spot. So he couldn't breathe. So yeah, I started freaking out. I actually got really scared and shit. I thought what I killed my brother. Oh, the ambulance came. They, they, they helped him out a bit. They helped him breathe. What do you mean they helped him breathe? So did he stop breathing for a half hour till they got there? No, no, no. They came really fast, actually. Uh, yeah, but they weren't there within seconds. If this guy's not breathing for I more think, than two minutes. No, he's, no, no. He's I tried breathing. No, no. I, I, yeah, he was breathing like it cut his respiration. But then I, I think I did something. I tried to help him or something. Like me and my brother were like we were trying to help him to get him to breathe. I tried to give him water or something, you know, so I could feel better. Because I don't know, I was a kid. Like I called. I know, but he was breathing because if he wasn't breathing, 
he would have choked on the water. Like it doesn't make sense. Like no, no, was, but he turned blue at first. Yeah. Like, he started turning blue, and then like he was in pain. Was he talking when he was in pain? No, 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 no. He, like he started, he couldn't, he couldn't speak, he couldn't breathe, and he started turning blue. So I panicked and shit. And then after like he started feeling a bit better, like we sat, we, I, like I sat down with him, and I think like I rubbed him or whatever, like I rubbed his back, like you know, helped him out, and then he started yeah. breathing again slowly, still in pain. Ambulance came to check on it. I'm just saying you can't stop breathing for like minutes at a time. Like that's not how it no, works. No, no, I understand, but but he, I remember him turning blue and me. Yeah, freaking I believe the fuck that. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't remember actually. Now that you say it, I don't even remember how he started breathing again. He but just, did he stop breathing, or yes. was he just like like did he stop breathing for more than ten seconds? Or I, I don't remember because he, I, I just remember him and he couldn't breathe and he started turning blue, and he couldn't say anything. I go, are you okay? And he was turning blue, so. Must have yeah, hurt. Yeah. No, no, I did. I, f- I feel bad. Uh, I felt bad. I, I, I thought I killed my brother. I was in Is shock. he the retarded one? Or we're all retarded. You don't want to answer that question. Uh, no, he's not the retarded one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say the truth, bro. <laughs> so he's the retarded one? Uh, he's no, he's, no, no, no. But uh, none of us are retards. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> History begs to differ. Look, none of us are clinically retarded. We're just dumb guys. Clinically retarded. <laughs> well, I mean, who's uh, who's in charge of the clinic? Because <laughs> I could argue either way. Yeah. Uh yeah, uh, yeah. We were aggressive. Uh, we were aggressive, man, as kids. We so were- you, all this, this whole story is, is about what? I don't even know. That your brother I- can't get pregnant. No, I thought. <laughs> You're trying to prove to me that your brother can't get pregnant. No, I thought we were just talking to talk. <laughs> It's a podcast. <laughs> I just, just want to tell you that I, I need my brother in the gut, so he's not getting pregnant. This anytime is <laughs> soon. <laughs> no, this <laughs> it's not gonna happen. It's I tried. I've come inside him many times. Uh, this guy's not getting pregnant. Uh, <laughs> Yo, tr- look at Trump on the comeback. Oh yeah, you were talking about this earlier. Yeah, I was talking about it because uh, people are very upset, but fuck him because he's. They tried. Here's the thing. I was thinking they tried so hard, so hard. To get him in trouble, like uh, so many counts, felonies, and shit like that, and all the, the last thing that they stood on was uh, they were very upset that they said he was overestimating the price of his uh, estate. Did you see that? Okay, like everyone nowadays. But that's the thing. They go, "This is terrible." He said it was worth. I, I remember the numbers. The, the, I'm just paraphrasing, but it's like you know, he said it's worth. Uh, 17 million, pff, it's not worth more than 9 million or something like that, okay? Okay. But it's like you could go on Zillow or the Realtor app right now. Go on the Realtor app, randomly select any house you want. You're going to see that, let's say, 1.5. It's going to be overpriced. Yeah, you can see at 1.5 they're selling, and then you see the actual value, value 700,000. Yeah. That's just what people do. They try to make the most money they can in real estate. What the fuck is that? I put in Nikki Haley and if, this is what I'm getting. That's that makes sense. So fat it's definitely it's like it's what everyone does. Yeah, of course. Everyone tries to make the most If you're going to put this guy in jail for trying to like overvalue his his state, then everyone right now should be in jail. That's all everyone's It's so fucking stupid. Uh well, how do you spell this broad's name, bro? Nikki Wait, Haley, Iowa. Uh, I don't even think you spelled Nikki correctly. Is it with a CK or just a K or just a C? Try two Ks. And then try three. <laughs> no, for real, try two Ks. I did. Is this it? You're in media for some reason. Just type in Nikki Haley. Why you got to put I did, I did. Iowa? Why? Just put Nikki Haley, bro. It's not Google. I keep telling you, it's not Google. It doesn't search things the way you think it's going to search. Uh okay. Everyone's making fun of her online. Yeah. Yeah, because now she said she was bullied as a child for being brown. This woman is not brown. Well, sir, you're a racist. I could take a shit on her and she'll still be more white. I think she's half Pakistani. Or half Indian. Yeah, no. Maybe 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 five percent. She's not half Indian. No, oh, look, that's a family photo. Make that's, it big? That's not true. It's propaganda. Who would have guessed that Miss Nikki Haley actually looks like this? 
That's right. Good old Republican, right winger, yeah. Nikki Haley. Right winger. Like this at all. Pause, Only. pause. <laughs> right winger. <laughs> Warmonger. <laughs> she said that with a little twang. Yeah. In it. Warmonger, Nikki Haley. <laughs> is trying to trick you. That's right, because this is Nikki's family. And this is how Nikki was raised. So wait, pause? Okay. But I don't like Nikki Haley, but I don't like her because of her politics. Why would this be a problem? Why is this woman... Why, like, why uh, people on the internet are dumb as hell, bro? You just so, found this out. So you're saying that the problem with Nikki Haley is that she's she's brown. The problem is not the fact that she wants to continue wars and she's bought and paid for by big pharma. You tell me the problem is her race. That's fucking, that's retarded, bro. Yeah, the the big thing is that she's basically Hillary Clinton. That's the problem. <laughs> But on the other side. God damn, bro. It's fucking 2024. You give a shit that she's fucking, she's Indian. Who gives a fuck? It's her politics that should be the problem. Fuck, but people are so stupid. Wait, is she a Democrat or a Republican? It doesn't. She's a warmonger. She could be a Democrat. But she, she's a Republican. She's running as a Republican. But she has basically the same views as uh, Hillary Clinton. It's basically bomb everyone so my friends can make money. Wow. Yeah, that's why I don't like her. That's, That's crazy. Th- I can't believe that shit, bro. Don't vote for her because she's brown. She's tricking you. Who gives a fuck about... She could be purple. Who gives a fuck, bro? Yeah, it's a weird thing to take a stance on. That's what a weird fucking racist... Who gives a fuck, bro? But she's not even brown. But even... If, who gives a... She could be full. She could be purple. Who gives a fuck, bro? Well, I, I agree with you, but... If that's the reason you're not voting for her, you're a fucking idiot. Because I'll yeah. give you a list of reasons why you shouldn't vote for her, and none of them are her fucking skin color or ethnicity. What does that change, bro? So hold on a second. Hold on a second. So if she was full white, okay? Mm. But her position was kill all black people or kill all Indian, then you should vote. Like, it doesn't make any sense, but because she's white, shouldn't the policies be what matters? Her policies are garbage. That's why you don't vote for her. Yeah. So if her policies were amazing right now, you don't vote for her because she's brown. If her policies were to end the wars, uh, help the middle class, you wouldn't vote for her because you found out that she was brown. That's, Bro, people are so fucking stupid. They vote against their own interests for the dumbest reasons. What are you doing, Poseidon? Sorry, I was just paying for parking. That's yeah, fucking stupid, bro. <sighs> she's a garbage human being. Nothing to do with her uh, upbringing. So people are still mad. That's amazing. She's, she's actually a brown. Why would you vote for her? DeSantis drops out. Yeah, DeSantis dropped out. But So here's my other question. DeSantis, I don't know. I don't understand why he was running. Because not only was he not going to win, even if he did win, isn't he supposed to be running Florida? I don't think you're allowed to do both at the same time. Uh, I have no clue, actually, how American politics work. So. Yeah, I don't think you're allowed to do both at the same time. Also, he was dead in the water when he went on uh, Patrick Bed David's podcast. Because of the whole lifts, wearing yeah, lifts thing, yeah, yeah. that ruined him. He he ran at the wrong moment. He should have ran. <clears throat> should have ran in four years. Uh, not even. I mean, yeah. he should have ran without heels. <laughs> is that yeah, the heels is what fucked? And you know what yeah. the thing is? I think not just wearing the heels. I think not admitting to the heels is what fucked him. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Had he been like, yeah, bro, I wear lifts, bro. I yeah, look, I, look, 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 I wear lifts, bro. I got a Tom Cruise situation happening. Exactly. I'm mighty, but I'm tiny. Exactly. People would have been like, all right, he he owns it. But the fact that people are watching him wear heels, like, they're not heels. <laughs> and he's on his tippy toes. And they're like, bro, you're walking on your tippy toes. No, this is how dudes walk. <laughs> that that ruined him. Yeah. And he wrong, he, he ran at the wrong at the wrong time. He should have ran after uh, Trump wins now. That's what we said. Yeah, in four years he should have ran. Uh, or he should have tried to be Trump's running mate. But Trump wouldn't have him as a running mate after the heels debacle. Because everyone would make fun of him. Even Trump. Trump could have, If he's debating Trump one-on-one, Trump would have ruined him. He would have been like, nice heels, lady. Trump would have ruined him. Mm. That's the problem. Is Trump is you're debating against a comedian. Exactly. You're not going to win a debate. Because no one on the internet gives a shit about your policies. Yeah. As we've found out. Yeah. All that matters. It's fucking crazy that they made such a big deal about the race thing. Who gives a shit? Just care about the skin color. Yeah. If she makes a big thing about the race thing, that's different. That's annoying. If she's like, vote for me, um, bro, that's, you're, being, you're being dumb. Yeah. But for you to say, I'm not going to vote for someone because they're brown, 
that's that's insane. Yeah. That's so fucking. But it, it's not. It, forget even racism. It's just stupid. Because their policy. What if the policies are amazing? Yeah, I'm getting us all out of war. Um, I'm protecting the country. I'm protecting the the middle class. And you're like, shut up, black. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, it's like you're in the Middle Ages. Not even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's so stupid. That's why people. Uh, what Mike said is true. People get the life they deserve at the end of the day, and not not as a punishment. Just like you work towards, like you're kind of creating the problem. Exactly. So if you keep voting for people b- b- based on racism or based on stupid things that don't help you, yeah. not their policies or whatever, then you get the life you deserve. Like like uh, Trudeau in Canada. Yeah. People are mad. Uh, can't afford anything. Housing prices are, everything's too high. Uh, nothing works. Yeah, but you keep voting for the same dude. Yeah. What do you think was going to happen? Anywho, Poseidon. Patreon.com slash Pantelis. Friday nights in Montreal. The Secret Show at the Third Floor Comedy Club. Links are available on my website. Poseidon, the Poseidon 69 on Twitter and on Instagram. We got a good guest coming in next week. Check that out. Thank you all and go fuck yourselves. We built this prison cell Cause we can't trust ourselves Critically ashamed and all